Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Magic in the Basement. Um, sorry I haven't made a, a video in a while. I've been a little under the weather. Uh, had some sore throat issues, so it was kind of hard for me to talk. But I figured I'd come back and do an opening for you guys. Um, this is the Global Series. It's it was it's kind of like a dual deck product, um, but these were only. I mean, these were more marketed at the, I think, the Chinese region. Um, but they're only uh, standard legal in China, but which is weird. Uh, there was a lot of controversy about that. Although, honestly, the cards look beautiful, but they're not really standard powered. Uh, they're, like I said, they're like the um, kind of like the Planeswalker decks, not the dual decks, the Planeswalker decks, where they're watered down, you know what I mean? So they're not really great for standard play, even though they're not legal uh, for standard anywhere outside of China. So anyway, I figured I'd do the opening for you because uh, although the cards are kind of watered down, they are all uh, different arts and they are beautiful cards. So I figured I'd do an opening, show you guys the, uh, the art on them. Um... These are MSRP at like Walmart and stuff for like $32. You can get them online cheaper than that. You could probably get them online, I think, for like 20 bucks. So I wouldn't pay retail for them. Um, I bought mine at retail when they launched, and then I, uh, I mean, just because, but then they dropped. I thought, you know, it might be one of those cool collector's item things, but, you know, it's a gamble. Roll of the dice. You never know. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Anyway, let's open this puppy up and show you guys what's in it. Alright. And, um, again, oh, wait, it's got this little insert here, which is actually cool art. It shows the Planeswalkers, and it's got, tells you about them, about the Global Series, and that kind of cool stuff. I actually like the art on that. I might hold on to that. Then it's got both decks in like your standard little case thing. Um, so nothing special there. Right, let's pop this bad boy open. You got the planeswalkers, which I gotta get quickly sleeved up before they turn into Pringles. You know, I'm not sure the quality on these, if uh, on the printing on the foils. I don't know if they were trying to make a good impression or a bad impression. So I'm going to take it as their bad quality and get them sleeved ASAP. And uh, like I double sleeve all of them, all of my uh, foils that I actually want to keep, like bulk foils. I'll just put them in a perfect fit and call them a day. But those are the Planeswalkers. They look beautiful, don't get me wrong. All the art on these is beautiful art. I love them. Um, but they're not very playable. I mean, you know, you could maybe put them in a fun EDH deck. Like her, I might actually put her in an EDH deck just because of her ultimate. She's uh, 5 loyalty, 6 mana, 4 and 2 blue, plus 2 target, target creature can't be blocked this turn. Um, not great, but not horrible. Um, minus three, draw two cards. And then her minus ten, which is crazy. Uh, tap all creatures your opponents control. You take an extra turn after this one. It doesn't exile her or anything. So, like, if you had this in sort of something like a doubling season deck, you know what I mean? You could play her, go ultimate on her turn one. Or if you wanted to keep her around, you know, play her plus two her, and then ultimate her on the next turn to keep her around. But yeah, um, beautiful art. I mean, trying to get a good look on that. Not very playable. Now this guy's five mana for four, four, four loyalty, plus one, target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Minus one, if you don't control a creature named Maru, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm going to go Maru, uh, uh, create a legendary 3-3 greenhound creature named 
Mau, uh, whatever. Um, uh, okay, so you get the three three count. Now the cool thing about that is here. I'll show you right here. Um, the hound, you get a token for it, and it's a foil token. So as soon as I oh here it is. You know it's a foil. You get him. Uh, I'll show you better when it opens up. But it's a foil hound token. It's cool looking. Cool little doggy. And then it's minus five. Is until end of turn, target creature gains trample and gets XX, where X is the number of lands you control. So his ultimate, he can go ultimate very quickly, you know, plus ones, and then he can ultimate next turn. So, I mean, it's not horrible. Like I said, they're watered down. They're not, they're not horribly bad. They're just not top tier, you know, power wise. You know what I mean? So, I mean, and, but they look cool. They're both, I would say, EDH maybe for fun, uh, but definitely not standard. So I don't got, I don't know why they did the whole. Oh, these aren't legal outside of Ch China for standard, whatever. That's your silliness. Um, let's look, see if it's bent. Nope, not this time. All right. So set our planeswalkers aside. On a side note, um, I have an Aminatu deck I brewed up for my next Commander uh, Homebrew, uh, which I'll put out tomorrow, um, the video for it. So if you guys are interested in that, look look forward to that. I'll be putting that out tomorrow. Um, also, quick note um, of my giveaway for the $25 gift card. Um, I'm not going to go over all the rules. If you want to see the full rules, go and check out my Nico Bolas uh, Tribal Commander deck, and it has full rules. But I was thinking about on that um, the shares. And I noticed that you know some videos get more views than others. Obviously, not every video is going to be for every person. So I think maybe it's a little unfair to say, okay, share this one particular video, even if you might not care for it. So on the shares to get extra entries and extra, uh, you know, if we get the 50 shares, everybody gets an extra entry and 100 shares, uh, I, I will be doing a $10 gift card. Instead of it just being the Nico Bolas um, video, I want to have it be any video shared. So a total combined share of any video from the date I announced it. Right now I have uh, five shares on total videos from that date. So if we get the total amount up to 50, everybody gets an extra entry into the contest. If we get the total amount of shares up to 100, well, I'll put the extra $10 gift card in there too as a prize. So you guys will be able to share the videos you like more versus, you know, having to be kind of funneled into something, you know, you might not enjoy. So I figured, you know, I'll try it that way. Anyway, back to the video. Let's look. This guy is actually pretty cool out of the, the cards. He's a 5 6 for 6 mana. He's a dragon. And look at the art. That is a beautiful art. Um, he's flying. Whenever one or more creatures you control attack, you gain one life for each attacking creature. Not horrible. He's a dragon, though. So he can go on a dragon tribal. And he's a white dragon. Alright. I'm not going to read all of these. But I do want to point out the art on him because, you know, the art is nice. This one's five mana. Return up to two creatures to their owner's hand. Search your library graveyard for a mooling. Uh, reveal it. Put it in your hand if you search your library. Uh, shuffle your library if you searched it. You get two of those. That's the, you know, the, the search out for your Planeswalker. They usually have those in the Planeswalker decks like the old ones. Um, you get a moon-eating dog. Look at that art, man. That's just beautiful. Uh, four mana, as long as you control a Yanling Planeswalker, moon-eating dog has flying. You get three of those. Uh, you get some basic comes into play tapped. But I'm showing you these lands because the lands are beautiful art. Getting 
Another ox, another island. Here we go. Brilliant plan. Draw three cards for five mana. Sorcery. Not that brilliant, but that art is awesome. Hey, that's the same island. I thought these were all different pictures. I guess not. Another ox. I guess they're all about the ox. Or maybe it's like the zodiac or something. Who knows? I'm not big on my Chinese history or mythology. Sorry. If you guys know more, leave a comment. Let me know. All right, this guy's two, a fly when it uh, uh, can block only with creatures flying two mana. That's not horrible. This I might actually put my humans uh, tribal deck with my ninjas. They can, uh, enchant creature can't be blocked. Another one of those. Another bird. A Kieran. That's kind of cool looking. Flying. Uh, it attacks another target. You, uh, another one gets flying. It's like that Pegasus they did. Yeah, and the uh, land art, I guess it's the same picture. But look at this one, man. This one's awesome. Dragon's Presence. It deals five damage to target attack uh, to a target attacking or blocking creature for three. Not the best card, but look at that art. That's just oh man. Crab that when it draw, dies, you draw a card. Big flying monster. Spirit. Oh, it's clouds. I see it now. Uh, another one. The ox. Look at that bird, man. Basic, like a lot of these are just basic, you know, cards. Another dragon's presence. Another, another Quinlan. Alright, here we go. We got a fish lizard. Uh, one one. Uh, it has flying as long as it's attacking. Alright. Flying frog. Some more lands. Another turtle. Dragon's presence. Try and talk to the creature to bounce card. More lands. Another brilliant plan. Turtle frog or tart frog lizard. Fish lizard. Whatever whatever the combination is. Oh, uh, this one looks awesome, man. Nine tailed white fox. Look at that art, man. Deals coming damage show player draw cards. It's two two for three. Man, I might just want to collect like these guys. A, it's a limited run, and B, look at that's a beautiful card. Forget if it's good or not. I might just start maybe buy up a few of these every now and then or trade for them. Just maybe get a binder of them. That'd be awesome. Turtle. Another island. Another crab. Lands. Ooh, another one of those beautiful foxes. And the bird. And the land. All right, so that's that's her deck. That's uh, blue and white. That's the Yingling deck, or uh, however you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. All right, um, now let's go to the Doggy Dude deck. Uh, this is the Jing. Uh, God, I'm not even. I'm all but the green one. This is the green guy's deck. I'm not even going to attempt that because I'm going to butcher it so badly. In fact, I can barely speak English at the time. <laughs> Alright, um, let's get that open, and now we're going to get that token into a sleeve really quick, because it is a nice looking foily one, pretty awesome hound dog, it ain't nothing but a hound dog, looking for a bone, beautiful card, beautiful card. Ma M A W U Mau? I don't know. Like I said, I can barely speak English. I butcher jet Chinese. Alright, here we go. We got a Phoenix. So I guess his is green and red. Flying. Um, you know, they, they get fire breathing. Simple. Uh the want the search one for him. This one is you search a library for him. Uh, yeah, 
pretty basic. But I like the art, him and his dog. Three sacred elk. Sacred right white deer. But it's an elk creature. Gain four life. Um, play it only if you control him. Uh, some lands. I like that forest. Like, I guess it's a pretty awesome looking forest. That's like a bear or something? It, it, it's, you know, like a pump spell. Is that a bear? Or a wolf, maybe? I, I mean, a mountain. I think I've seen that mountain before. Not sure. And we've got whatever that thing is. It looks like it's still in rollout from Pokemon. <laughs> More forests. A aura that gives it 33. Some more. Ooh, look at that snake. It's just man. If they took if they took art like this and put it in our standard decks, man, our standard cards, I think they would sell better. Cause the art we get is lame lately. I mean, I started in Magic because I enjoyed the art. You know, art of the cards it looked awesome, but they've watered it down so bad. But if they got good art on them, like these cards, even though these cards are garbage, I mean, six mana for a 5-5 five, five trample, but the art on this beast. Oh, it is a beast. <laughs> but yeah, man, I mean, give us some awesome art on some decent cards. Hit that like button if you all agree. I'm just curious. Do you think the art has gone down in the new sets? I do. But we got bird spirit. Kind of reminds me of like, what is that? Like a ho -oh almost. <laughs> Another enchant aura. And this is a oh man, hey, breath of fire. Now it looks like it's breathing fire on that snake. In which case, it might be a ho. -oh. Who knows? Cause isn't that a fire type? We got a giant spider. Look at that guy, man. This is where it pounce. Crappy. Looks good. Here's a new one we haven't seen. Four damage. Eh, it's not great, but the art is beautiful. A cat beast. Four, 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 four. Like I said, these are very watered down, basic, just planeswalkery decks. But they look so cool. Almost makes me kind of want to take like the art on some of them, like, and get use like a uh, exacto knife or whatever, what a pin knife. I'd cut the art out and put it on better cards, you know, just to make my own kind of cards. But, you know, obviously that wouldn't be legal and a playing standard. You wouldn't be able to put like a beast looking presence of a dragon on a card that's a dragon, you know what I mean? That picture because I don't know if actually I don't know if that would count as an altar or if they would. I mean, it's obviously not a counterfeit because it's a different picture. So you can't. Put like the picture on a force of will and say, Oh, look, it's a force of will, blah blah blah. So it wouldn't fall on their counterfeit, would it be like altars? Because some of these arts are beast, anyway. Those are the two decks you got one of them was a blue white, and one of them was a red green. So, basic colors, you know, basic planeswalkers kind of watered down. All the cards were watered down, and then you get the cool little doggy token. Again, this uh, MSRP is like thirty-two dollars, maybe third between thirty and thirty-four bucks at Walmart or Target or bought whatever, wherever you guys go locally. I would not pay that because it's dipped a lot, as you see. Um, the art is beautiful. The cards are not great. This is a horrible product, um, play-wise, because all the cards are garbage. 
Um, the best parts in the deck are these three cards right here. And maybe that dragon. That one dragon looks pretty beast. Um, I mean, but value-wise, it's the... I think the Planeswalkers are like 8 bucks each. And I think the dog is like 3 2 or 3 So, I mean, if you're looking at 8 bucks for each at 16 And even if you're going to give it generous and say the dog's 4 being very generous, it's only 20 bucks Because the rest of the cards are bulk, obviously. Um, but there you have it. That's what's in it if you were ever curious about you know, hey, what's in that kind of deck, you know, I see it on the shelves or whatever. There you go. Save some money. Don't buy it. If you want to get the singles, trade for them. You know, trade your buddies or some, or buy the singles. It's not worth buying the whole thing because as you saw, you, you got a bunch of repeat crap in it. You know what I mean? Even though they look pretty, they ain't doing nothing. So, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that opening and my, I guess, review. Tomorrow, we're doing the Aminatu homebrew. Um, and I, I, I had fun building it because I like her abilities, her blinking shenanigans. Um, so that's tomorrow. And um, like I said, on the contest, I'll be counting any shares of the video so share any video you prefer you like with your friends or your groups or facebooks or whatever you know as and in the end that's what magic to me is all about sharing things you're passionate about or what you enjoy you know there you go there you have it i hope you guys had a good day um sorry for the video taking so long to come out i'm gonna try now that i'm feeling better i'm gonna try to get back on a good rhythm of putting out new videos for you guys um but thanks for bearing with me and i will see you guys tomorrow uh have a great day magic in the basement signing out